Can a 20 pound microphone from Amazon be better than a 100 pound microphone? We're gonna find out. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, I do a load of music related videos all around performance and also a little bit of tech as well. So please have a look around all my videos. If you like them, then please subscribe. nice to be indoors today so we've come out to the beach down in Hoylake on the Wirral and we're gonna test out a microphone that is 20 pounds on Amazon so this is the Fifine K6 uh, this was sent to me by Fifine to test out and have a play with we're also gonna compare it to a Shure SM58 and an ATM 41 so here's the box that it comes in and then inside we have a little bit of information about Fifine the company their website their Facebook page then you've got the K6 user guide, which is very useful. And under here, we've got, first of all, the cable it comes with, which is a XLR to jack cable. It's a 4.5 meter cable. And then we've got the Fifine K6 itself, which has a switch on it, which you can then turn on and off. So Fifine contacted me and asked me if I'd like to review the microphone, so I said yes. So they've sent it to me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it into an audio interface and then plug it into the camera and we'll hear what it sounds like. The audio you're hearing now is coming directly from the iPhone, but let's hear what this sounds like. Okay, so this is the sound of the Fifine K6. It's a bit windy. Uh, this is a cardioid mic, so um, it should cut out a little bit of it. One thing I am aware of is the noise of when I handle it. It is quite noisy and we do have an on off switch here where you can slide on and off it does give a little bit of a click just so you're aware what we're going to do is i'm going to basically show you it in a couple of different ways i just wanted to come out here to be honest because it's really nice and sunny um so <laughs> i just wanted to show you this in an environment that's unusual maybe you might be using this in an interview for with someone else also i'm talking directly into the microphone let's hear what it's like just slightly here it's got quite a bassy response so as i move it away i'm going to carry on talking i'm not raising my voice at all so i'm just going to show you the difference of where it is i just wanted to see how much it's picking up i'm going to be quiet for a minute just so you can hear what it's doing while i'm not speaking and that's what it sounds like in an open environment if you're doing say an outdoor broadcast or you're doing an interview You've got the wind, I'm gonna point it into the wind and then away from the wind. Okay, so here's a quick look at the microphone without the head on it. If you wanna have a quick ganders of that. And I'm just gonna screw that back on. Just before I finish up here, I'm gonna show you one other thing. Of course, there's quite a lot of explosives. So, pu, pu, bu, bu, pu, pu, bu, bu, pu. But that, you'd get that with any microphone. You could put obviously a shield over the top of this. Okay, just for comparison, this is an SM58. This is my trusty SM58, but it is over 10 years old. So I've, I use this for gigs, I use this for everything. Put, put, but, but with the explosives. And obviously if I put it around here, just on the side, or if you were using it for an interview, you would do it a little bit further back and move it from one to the other. Again, just for comparison, this is the Audio-Technica ATM41. Again, this is an older microphone, but this is one of my microphones uh, that we use as well. So I've had that before. I've done it, used this in another video. And again, put, 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 put. And then if we're talking just slightly to the side, um, or if we're talking a little bit further away, and you can just pick up the differences. Okay, so next we're going to go back into the studio. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this microphone with a guitar and just see what it sounds like.
Okay, so this is the Fifine K6. Uh, this is on the narrator setting. I've got the Focusrite 2i2 dialed in around about 12 o'clock. And I'm just about, just less than touching the microphone with my lips. And there's a little bit of bass, quite a bit of bass actually. It's quite nice. There is a bit of compression going on with the narrator setting. And that is the Fifine. Okay. Oh. Okay, so this is the trusty SM58 by Shaw. Again, exactly the same settings with the same cable uh, and speaking as close to it as I did with the Fifine. And the same settings and everything. One, two. Oh. This is the Audio Technica ATM41. Again, the same setup, um, same cables, uh, same audio interface, same settings, and uh, talking in the same position as well. Ha ha, okay, ha, ha. Some pros and cons. Let's start with the cons. So it is of metal construction, but it is quite a thin metal, so you can hear handheld. I would actually put this in a mic stand anyway, uh, so that's okay for me. Uh, the other one is this switch. It's very plasticky, uh, but it's fine. Obviously, you can turn it off. Just be aware, obviously, if you're putting this into a PA, it's going to give a little bit of a click or a bump. And then the cable. So the cable is XLR to jack. So if you want XLR to XLR, of course, you'd have to get that yourself, but you get it in the box anyway, which leads me nicely to the pros. It's a 4.5 meter cable. It's huge. It's great. I'm going to extend the cable. I'm going to walk. I'm still connected to the camera, to their iPhone. So I'm actually still connected right now, and that's how far I can actually walk with the cable. So the cable is fantastic. You need a microphone for gigging, or you need a microphone for interviews. So it's $19.99 on Amazon, and Fifine have got a range of microphones, and I w I'm really looking forward to actually testing more of them. But I just wanted to show you what you can get for £20. Uh, it's a cardioid microphone. It's got a real good range on it. It's quite bassy, so you might need to do a little bit of EQing there, but it's a great, great microphone to start you out with. So that is the Fifine K6 microphone. Let me know what you think about it. Does it sound any good? Would you use it? You gotta keep in mind that this microphone is 19.99. So for the quality versus the price, plus a really long cable, I think it's worth it. I've got a link in the description if you wanna buy it. And just to obviously full disclosure, as I say, Fifine did contact me and they sent me the microphone for review. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, please do so. And yes, I am spinning the camera around just so you can see where I am because it's a glorious day. Bit of shadow on my face, but that doesn't mind. <laughs>